Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. I think you're in for a real treat today. A really wonderful guy we're gonna meet who's living in a very nice setup. Not, not uh, luxurious, but really, really nice. So welcome Gene to the channel, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much. And you are now a full-time nomad? Well, I've been at it four weeks, but yes, I am. So you you have don't have a home you're going back to? I, th I still do have a house. It's reverse mortgage. They're trying to take it away from me. I lost my wife uh, four years ago. I was living on three ticks. Now I'm living on one. It's just been downhill. And I, I owe so much, I just, I gotta hit, gotta hit the road. Yeah, that's going on. I get letters all the time from people and the, the details are different, but uh, there's a lot of people struggling financially out there mm -hmm. and you stumbled upon your a solution and that it seems to be working for you uh, after four after just four weeks what do you think so far well I'm I'm real uh, I'm real surprised I I really didn't know what to expect at the, at the first campfire I went to I was a little hesitant to walk up to these people I don't know but in five minutes I knew everybody and they asked me you know the same kind of questions you're asking me Right. And after after just a few minutes, I just felt like I was part of the group. It just was, uh, I can't explain it. It's just a really good feeling. Right. Yes. Uh, I, nearly everyone I talk to say they have a stronger, better friendship and community out here than they ever had in their whole life. Oh, I believe it. Yeah. I believe it. And uh, so, folks, we are at a caravan, a Homes and Wheels Alliance caravan. And so uh, you found out about Homes and Wheels Alliance, the caravan, and mm -hmm. you just came here. Yes, sir. And you were welcomed in and uh, taken in. Oh well, yeah, just like I would been there forever. Yeah, and that's that's been my experience universally with the caravans. A good place to go. So uh, you told us a little bit about it. You have a, a house that you think you might be losing at home, mm -hmm. and uh, and a mountain of debt. And boy, don't we all know about that. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it seemed like the way forward was to uh, get out of your house and into a a living mobily. And so tell us about your rig. Uh, well, the truck's a 2003 Silverado. It's a half ton. It would have been nice if it was three quarter, but it's a half ton. And I put so much money into it just to keep it running and everything. I I couldn't trade it in on anything else. I, they wouldn't give me anything for it. So I hunted and hunted and hunted for trailers and and something to put on the back, and I come across the Bel Air shells. And immediately I said, oh, I like these. And so I talked to them, and um, I ordered it in February. I didn't get it till August. Wow, oh, but COVID was going on. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. So in the meantime, every month I would buy, out of my social security check, I'd buy one item. I'd buy, I bought the Jackery one month, I buy the solar panel another month. I bought the cooler another month. And so by the time I did get it, I was ready to go. Wow, that was that was a really good way to do it. You knew you had some time, and so you just started planning and, and getting the things you needed. It actually was to my advantage yes. to have that much time. I didn't realize it at first, but it was to my advantage. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so then uh, you built it yourself the, uh, the, the into a little home. The inside, yeah. yeah. And uh, so this was kind of a solution for a really bad problem you were in economically. Really good solution. Right. Yeah. So basically this is the, the way you're gonna be living, whether you like it or not. And fortunately you really like it. Well, I do like it. Good, yeah. good. Yeah. Well, why don't we take a look around and uh, see what you've done with it. Appreciate it. Let's do that. Good. Okay, well, the very first thing I built this cabinet here was real tall and it was ugly green. I cut it in half and I put one half here and the other half down there and I connected them together with another kind of a, a box. And then I put the countertop on it and then I built this to go on top of that. But I, I like I like this because of the drawers. I got every drawer. This is my 
silverware drawer, cooking utensils. This is my paper work. This is my toothpaste and all that stuff. Down here is more this stuff, food. And the drawers over there is my pots and pans. And you'd, you'd like the top drawer just full of cables and <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> electronics. They kind of take over our lives. <laughs> they don't do. They? And then this side is just made out of two by two by twos and plywood. So I have a storage under here. And the very the very front is where the porter party is. Oh, underneath the uh, oh the bed, yeah. Yeah, it slides out. And this this is just for that kind of stuff. Nice. And my water jug's back here. And underneath, that's a, that's right, it's, it's batteries. You just touch it and it, and it turns on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then a good friend of mine, he put this switch in for me. If I pull it back here, it's on the jackery. Oh, what a good thing. And the jackery runs the fan and the two lights. If I put it up here, it's on the truck battery, which I never want to do. Right. But it's there in an emergency. So that's about it. The jackery eventually is going to live right on this table at the end. But my cable to my panel, solar panel, is not long enough, so I have to, I have to keep it up in the truck for now. This is my cable. And I bring the porta party out and I put my pillow on it. So, oh. so I sit right here. Oh, that's, so that's kind of your seat. Yeah. Yeah. And then I put the laptop over here, and I, I, I have a few books I, I, I read here. Boy, it looks great. You've really used good space, use of all this space. My paper towels here. The, the jackery's gonna sit, the jackery's gonna sit right in here. Oh, wow, uh -huh. very good. And there's a big hole down here, so I built a box and put this box in here, and underneath the box is a, is a false bottom. I run my wires there to go out the little porthole on the side. Mm -hmm. So that's after I get a longer cable for the uh, for the panels, then I'll be able to do that. Yeah, yeah, good, good, good. And you got an awful lot of storage over your cab. Yeah, and everything's pulled forward. Whatever you see here, I could put that much in the back. Right. So it, it, it's like forty-eight inches deep. So you have more more storage space than you need. I do. Well, that's kind of good. That's it, unusual, actually. But the only problem with that is, like you pointed out in one of your videos, I brought way too many clothes. Right. Most of us do. But it's not cause of a problem, so. No, <laughs> no. So, uh, do you remember how tall this shell is? It's 61 inches. Uh, yeah, the, the, these, uh, I love these Bel Air shells. I've, I've talked about them before, and uh, I think they're really a perfect solution for a lot of people. You can't quite stand up. But it's certainly better than being hunched over on your knees in a van. Well, I had, I had a smaller shell, and I, I thought about using that. And I got inside doing measurements and stuff, and I, hurt, I actually hurt my back. Yeah. And so I sold that shell, and I ordered this one. Right. Yeah, these are just so much better. These aren't cheap. Uh, this no. was probably, what, 3000 3, 4000 I had the fantastic fan put in it. Is that a little more? It's come to forty-seven hundred. Yeah, they're yeah. You do them right, and they it starts to add up. You got the two windows, and mm -hmm. yeah. I love the windows. The windows open up. Yeah. Um, now getting that ventilation. You get a lot just, of ventilation. Right. The other one opens up too. Mm -hmm. The other side, you keep it covered because it lets in a lot of heat. The bed had to be the same height as the rail, so you got to get that extra four inches in there. But I like. Laying on here, I don't put a cover, when there's nobody out there, I don't cover the window at night. Right. So it's pretty cool, you lay in here and you, and you wake up and you see this beautiful desert and this sun coming up, it, it's, it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, it is. And so, um, how, everyone, I always have to ask, how do you stay clean? I use a lot of wipes. A lot of wipes, yep, I know that. And then, uh, What's so cool about this caravans, if you got a, any kind of problem like that, you minister to somebody and they tell you. I plan to get one of those stand-up showers and one of the little 
um, what do you call them? Solar. Solar, you know, solar water. So yeah, I plan to get one of those. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you uh, have a stove? It's right there. Oh yeah, sure, right here in front uh, of me. That's I brought a couple of them with me, and one of them is butane, and you can't find those butane canisters anywhere. So I just give the stove away. I had a big Coleman, and it wouldn't open up in here, and so I give it away. So I want to get a stove like yours. <laughs> yeah, I really love mine. Yeah, they're hard to find in stores. Amazon has them, of course, but mm. they're hard to find in stores. But it's a great stove. And I really love the construction here. This really gave you a lot of overhead storage. You had a lot of fun building that. I have, I have a wood shop in my garage, and, and uh, I had a lot of fun building that. Cool. And so um, how do you uh, go to the bathroom then? I have one of those composite toilets, but I really don't use it like that. I, I put a bag in it. Just use a plain old bag? Yeah. Yeah. Two of them. <laughs> Two of them, yes. I have like five or six in mine. I get, <laughs> I get carried away. Uh, yeah, but no, that's all it takes. Works well, really, really well for me. Uh, and uh, so when you started out, were you afraid? Uh, you, you mentioned you were afraid of being lonely. No, I wasn't afraid of being lonely. I I just didn't think I was going to be accepted. I mean, you know, everybody out here is a bunch of kids, you know, 55 years old. <laughs> and I, I was thinking, I'm going to walk up to that camp and they're going to say, where'd that old guy come from, you know? But it wasn't like that at all. That was, that was my only... No, I'm, I'm not afraid. I long hauled for 15 years, so I, I did a lot of... We'd be out six, seven weeks at a time, so I did... You know, I've been out a lot. Right, so driving wasn't any big deal to you? No. I took the back seat out. Oh my, that looks great. And then I built a platform. All my tools and everything are underneath there. Mm -hmm. I, on the other side, I have two two boxes, one metric and one standard. But this is my, uh, this is an Alba Cool. Uh -huh. Is that how you say it? Yep. Alba Cool. It's a 54 quart. And uh, this this cover, Insulates it really good. At nighttime, I shut it off. Wow, that does insulate it well. And uh, it's a 36 now. And tonight when I shut it off in the morning, it'll be 44. Wow, that's great. And so then I plug it back into the Jackery and in an hour it's Jackery's back up where it was. Right, right. Yeah, these super cabs really make a difference. It gives you an enormous Mount Moore storage so you, you know, this, you'd think you couldn't live in it just a shell, but you're living really comfortably. I am. Everything you could want. I am. I may, I may have a little advantage to, to a, a, a newcomer that I camp a lot. Right. And so I knew a little bit what to do. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's really just going camping, except the, the camper is the tent. Yeah. I got the jackery sitting there right now. But eventually she'll go up where I showed you up there. Mm -hmm. There's your water. Yeah, you just, you, with uh, a tall Bel Air and uh, the back seat rigged out, you've got an enormous amount of storage. You can always find a place to put something, but then try to find it. Yes, that's the <laughs> problem right there. <laughs> I've, I've gone through that many times. And, oh man, where'd I put that? Yeah. Yeah, if you, once if you let it accumulate, uh, before long you just can't find it. And then you're buying it because you can't find it, now you got two. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I've done that. <laughs> I'm afraid I've done that. So you have a regular door up yeah. on the shell yeah, that you could pop the whole back on. Let's pull that down and I'll show it to you. Yeah, that'll work well. Watch your head, Cody. <laughs> He's got to be in the way. Wow, that is nice. That was super easy. Really nice. Yeah, and like you said, you could uh, cover it with either shade cloth and get shade inside. Or yeah. if it's uh, a rainy time, you can, I think you could cover it with a tarp and leave that wide open. Yeah, yeah, get a big, a big tarp. Yeah, and that would give you, you know, you don't feel so claustrophobic. No, I don't, well, I don't spend a lot of time in there. Right. I, that's a disadvantage. And uh, I try to park 
where I get one side of my truck is in the shade quite a bit of the day, so like here. Mm -hmm. So, right. And what a view you've got here. Oh, <laughs> that big, that big gully. You know, everyone says the desert's ugly. Sometimes it's beautiful. Yeah, one of my friends says you're not going to like the desert, and another one of my friends, she says you're going to love the desert. Yeah, I love the desert. Yeah, yeah. It's a funny thing. I come fall, I'm really, really anxious to get down into the desert, and come spring, I'm really, really anxious to get out of the desert and back <laughs> into my beloved mountains. <laughs> but uh, the thing is, you get your choice. You get them both. You don't mm -hmm. have to choose. You get them both. Oh, that's that's the beauty of this. There's no. There's nobody telling you what to do, where to go, how to get there. It's up to you. Yeah, you're in charge. I'm in charge. If I want to sleep till noon, I'll sleep till noon. Right. For most of us, it's one of the few times we've ever really been in charge of our lives. Oh, I believe it. Yeah. It is. Okay, Gene, anything else? Any, what, any last words for the older people or <laughs> younger people or just if there's any people out there? Uh, what, are, what is your recommendation to them? Just go to one campfire. Go to go to a caravan, spend one night. Tell yourself, I'm just going to stay there one night and I'm going to go home. That won't happen. <laughs> but uh, that's my advice. Uh, well, first of all, watch watch your videos. I've, I've watched your videos and I have your book. I've watched No Man Land probably six times. When people come over, I say, you got to watch this movie. And you can learn a lot from that. So people my age, they are going to hesitate, but just do it. Just get out. You're going to be amazed. It's just, you can't, I can't ex really explain just how wonderful it is out here. It's just, it's another world. It's another world. It's one that people don't know about. They don't. No. And it's good that people like you tell them. Thank you. Yeah. Really, really good. Well, Gene, thank you so much for sharing your life. I really, really appreciate it. I love the Bel Air. I've been a, a big fan of theirs for a very long time. So I'm glad it, this is working for you. Thank you. Appreciate it. And at a price you can afford. You know, you, you it's hard to get into a home that you like on the pickup you already have for $5,000. Very hard. Yeah, you, this does it. Yeah. Okay, folks, I hope you got a lot out of this. I know you did. <laughs> if so, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel. Hit that thumbs up button and we'll talk to you later. Bye now.